Hi everyone, today I've got another figure review for you. Today we're looking at Sakura from the new Naruto SH Figure Arts line. So Bandai uh, have released a new figure arts line for the Naruto series. They've done Naruto, uh, Kakashi, Sakura and Sasuke so far. And they've got pre-orders up for the, um, the original series. So they've done Shippuden so far and then they're doing... Naruto, the younger Naruto and the younger Sasuke so far. So a quick story about this one actually. I got an absolute bargain on this. I um, hadn't pre-ordered it for some reason. I can't remember why. I pre-ordered Kakashi, Naruto. I hadn't pre-ordered Sakura or Sasuke yet. And I went into my local Forbidden Planet and would you believe it? They had it on sale. So I took it up to the uh, tilt, rang it through and she also then said it's actually even less than what the sale price is. Uh, so when I found out about that, I questioned it, said, what about Sasuke? And she said, yeah, same deal. So I got both. So but today, today's all about Sakura. So we're going to have a look at Sakura and we're going to get into it right now. Let's get the box open. Oh, oh. there we go. So put that to one side. So she comes in a smaller box than Naruto and Kakashi and Sasuke, in fact. In fact, I have Sasuke here. So that's Sasuke's box. She's... Yeah, she must come with less. Let's have a look. So what's she come with? So let's get this off. Release her from her plastic prison. We'll start with Sakura herself. Pull her out. All right, let's get rid of her raincoat bits. Okay, I'm here, there we go, one. Okay, come on, there we go, two. I think that's what she's got, Oh, Ah, soft goods, hey. I say soft goods, it's a softer plastic, that, as you can see, that's. Anyway, so, right from the get-go, as always, as I've had with Naruto and Kakashi, I mean, that looks like Sakura, doesn't it? They've nailed it again. They always get these right. They're pretty good with it, figure out some Bandai. I mean, detail on that face. The headband. Yeah, looking good. Cool. Right, we'll come to articulation in a second. Just gonna pop her down, see what accessories we get. Let's start with so we've got two open hands here. Let's have a look. So we've got the closed fists already on. The body and oh no hang on there we go so you've got left and right open hands or sort of grabbing hands or whatever you'd like to call them we've got two relaxed hands I'd say so you know if your hands are down by your side kind of oh why is that not focusing can you focus please oh because it's you can kind of see they're just sort of relaxed, open palm hands. And then, looks like we've got a sort of half open hand. So I'm guessing that might be for the effect. In fact, speaking of, let's just check. There we go. This will tell us. Oh, what a band. Be gone. Um, what we got? Okay. Oh no, that was wrong. So that's the right arm. Warning: may rub off. So that piece that we'll get to goes over a closed fist. So we've got two closed fists, two wide open hands, two relaxed hands, and then a half open. Oh, okay. Oh, I see now. I see here. The key from the front of the box. See, that must be that hand. Put the fist in the palm. There we go. It's all making sense now. Anyway, I'm going to put them to one side. Back to the thing at hand. So we've got a sort of. Oh, let's see if we can do this better. A nice, stern, serious face. Happy? Yeah. 
happy, kind of relieved face almost like, oh, that was all right. Uh, oh, a bit more of an angry face, but determined. There we go. And always my favorite. <laughs> I'm, glad they've, I'm glad they've put these faces in. These are my favorite faces. I like these across the board. I hope uh, Sasuke has one as well because they're all going to be displayed with these for a while to start with. So you come with four extra face plates. Obviously you got just a sort of, so in comparison, where's the other one with the closed mouth? Oh. Can it focus? So you got a closed mouth, but sort of relaxed, happy, happy-ish look, sort of content. And then you got the more sort of eyebrows down, determined face there. And then we've got an effect piece. Which has, it's just a translucent, sort of bluey green. A little bit of uh, like dry brushing. I don't think you can actually tell. Oh yeah, you can kind of see the transition there. If I sort of do that, you can sort of see it. So they put a little bit of white paint on there just to give it a bit more of an effect. And according to the thing, that should just go straight over her face. Like that, look at that. But, getting ahead of ourselves, aren't we now? We'll come to that in a second. Anyway, so there's your accessories, right. Let's have a look at the articulation and then we'll have a play around with the accessories. All right, so there she is. Out of the box, standing up on her own. Perfect, she's got a good pose, good standing. So as the articulation, she's got the cool little toes, both toes. Not much the, uh, oh, yeah. So the, the paint application, the plastic looks a bit like she's got dead toes again. I think we had that, was that with Naruto as well. Uh, it doesn't seem to match the skin tone on the plastic for the leg. It's like, it must have been cast in this dark color and then they've just sort of painted the feet on or the toes, sorry. Um, yeah, it doesn't quite match, but oh well. Uh, it's got, oh yeah, full, looks like a peg ankle, full articulation on that ankle, up and down, oh, have I broken it, no, there we go, there we go, up, pull down, but can you kind of see, yeah, it's got that, uh, if you push it too far up, it sort of breaks away, you can see the peg, but that's no problem, as for knee, she has double knee, so yeah, so she can, oh yeah, she could, Pose cool against the wall. There goes a the knee. So she's got swivel. So what they've done is they put it here where our shorts end, which is quite cool. So it doesn't break up the figure too much. It just looks all natural. That's quite clever. Uh, we've got soft goods. So it's like a soft plastic. So it moves quite nicely with the legs. So she can do the splits almost. Yeah, good. Leg comes up. So what we've got. Ah, so she's actually got... Oh, okay then. That's a different hip joint to the current line and rave wave of uh, figure arts. It only goes up that far, but I suppose it's covered, so it doesn't matter as much. It seems to do the same articulation, but where they've put the swivel in here, I guess that kind of makes up for it. So it goes all the way up, come that far back. And all the same again on the other leg, obviously. Same again at the shorts. Although, hang on, that one's a bit lower than that one. Oh, that's a bit weird. And it, yeah, that. So they put the joint in a bit higher up on that leg compared to that one. So that twists there. Does that one twist there? That's odd. I suppose you never notice. I don't know. So them again. Yeah, we've been through the legs. Cool. Arms. So she's got the shoulder, the butterfly joints, the figure arts. Shoulders, she's got a, oh. oh. She's got a pin. Oh, she's not got the full, hang on a minute. I'd have to check the other ones. That's not the same, is it? That's, that's broken into two pieces there. That's like okay, it's held together just with a pin. So that only comes up. So there's full, full range, full rotation. That's different. Huh. Right, so I'll check that out. Got the full upper arm rotation there. Elbow. Is that just a single? 
Alright. That's held together again, the cycle pin. Have I just not been paying attention? Are they all like that now? I don't think they are, are they? That's different. I'll have to get the others in a bit and can do a comparison. Anyway, hand, full wrist rotation, up, down, that far up. And mean, determined. Uh, she got oh, ab crunches. And they're not giving her much here, have they? They seem to have sacrificed a lot for this figure, which is a shame. And she can only go, I suppose that's, I can't see the, hmm. But she can only go that far to the side and that far. That far back, that far forward. That's all we're getting out of her. That's a shame. I wonder why they've done that. As for neck though, full head rotation, although that head feels a bit going on. Ah, that might be why it feels a bit loose. That looks like it's kind of pegged on. Ah yeah, you can kind of just see the peg in there. I'm guessing, actually. Base plate with me. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're getting a bit ahead of ourselves there, but we've got, oh, hang on. So you've got a separate piece of hair stuck to the back of the neck. That's just stuck on. You've got your peg for your neck movement and head movement. And then obviously your face plate will go back into there, if I can. Followed by your, your hair. Okay then. I think that's it then, isn't it? Not much going on there. So should we have a look at some of the accessories then? Right, then just put on these open hands. So they snap on and off, fairly standard. Pegs, done a face change. There we go. All right, they just come off. Yep, fairly easily. Let's just try that. Oh, going on can be a bit of a challenge because they do tend to bend. So let's try. Okay, a bit more fiddly than I, uh, I once thought. Let's try it this way around. No, still. There we go. Snapped on. That was a bit. Yeah, oh, the Queen's Wave. Hello. Change the face plates, as you saw. Take the face, uh, hair off. You take the face out. You select another face. Oh no. And then you don't do that bit. What you do is, if you actually get it into the peg holes, get the hair back on. There we go. Easy as that. Let's change the other hand. So we can have two. There you go. And we've got two more face plates and we've got one hand with the effect. So we'll just take that off. Let's change that again. Again, my favorites, one of my favorites. I'm glad these all come with this. I love this, these faces. Look at that. I don't know what it is about it. I've got Kakashi and Naruto all lined up with these faces on and I'm gonna do the same with Sakura. I think that's great, I love it. Makes me laugh. And for the last one, we'll do that. And the effect piece, we got, ooh. More serious face, I'm more concerned. And then what we'll do is, uh, oh, hang on, no, nope, gone wrong. This is the last hand, I think. So we pop that one on. Oh, come on. Okay, it's a bit more fiddly than I thought. Uh, yeah, you gotta be careful, go try and, there we go. Snap Tom, and for this one, going back to the closed fist. There we go, that one seems easier. Maybe it's the angle I'm doing it at, I'm not sure. But we got the, oh, the effect piece, which according to the instructions, goes onto the fist like that. 
so she can look like. She's got an effect going on. Nice punch, there we go. Simple as that. And that's all she's got going for her at the moment. And that's all she comes with in the box. Like I said, it's a smaller box compared to the other guys. Uh, but she's got a few changes of hands, heads. You've seen them all scattered. And there they all are. Okay. Let's uh, compare her next to some of the other guys. We'll get into some poses and see how she gets on. Okay, here she is next to Naruto. And Kokashi. Again, this is how I'm going to display them all for a while. I love the expression on these faces. I think it's such a cool inclusion. I can't wait to have them all stood together like this on the shelf somewhere. As for size comparisons, here she is next to a Marvel Legends Peter Parker, whose head doesn't even fit in camera shot. And here she is next to Figure Arts Goku. And just for a really weird size comparison, there's an SD Gundam. Let's have a go at some poses then. This is something I need to work on. Here we go, so I'm just gonna copy some off the box if I can recreate them. There's the first one. And another pretty simple one. Just a face change, hand change. Let's try some more, uh, let's get some more dynamic poses on the go, shall we? With a little bit of help from a figure stand. We can get her into a, uh, I tried to balance her on this one. I couldn't do it. I wanted to try and see if I could get her to stand on one leg. I'm not good enough. I don't know if he can do that with this figure, actually. That'd be cool to see. I'm sure somebody out there who's got some real cool skills posing could probably do it. Not here, though. Bit of a fiddly one. There's another one off the box. So it looks like she's kind of jumping into action. As you can see, it's a bit wobbly still. Let me try and get that one quite a bit harder one. Try and get her up on it. Actually, on the tiptoes. That's a bit better. Fist pulling back, look like she's about to ready to punch someone. I quite like that pose, yeah. If you move it, yeah, it's all falls to pieces. But you can kind of see what I'm going for there. That's straight off the box art as well. That's another one that you can kind of get her into, which looks awesome. Another one sort of looked like she's about ready to do a, uh, a kick. And you got a leg raised up, kind of in the pose, ready to kick out, and then it all falls apart. But. I suppose you could have her also actually doing the kick afterwards. Hmm, let's have a look. No, leg, oh yeah, leg goes high. If anybody knows doing side kick, turn that heel foot down, get the edge of that foot in. Have a look at where she's actually kicking. That's about as high as that leg could go. I thought it could go higher, but it can't seem to... Oh no, there we go. Yeah, maybe it's that one we're looking for. Yes. I thought this could still go higher, but that's good enough. Looks like she's, yeah, get a nice side kick on. Sort of a uh, Naruto running pose. It's a bit hard to get her to stand. So trying to use this figure stand that I've got probably isn't the best. It's a bit short. I probably need one that's a bit taller because if you try and get her to actually run head up, arms behind, obviously you can see that figure stand isn't gonna cut it. So you needed something a bit bigger. I think that is more for Nenderoids anyway. Um, oh, hang on. Did I do this last time with Naruto? Did I actually manage to get him to stand up right? And feel the weight fall off. Oh, Kalina against that box. No, still not working. You get the idea though. You could have a in a running pose. Leg up, crazy stuff. It's all good. Anyway, it's a great posing figure. I'm happy with it. I think they've done a great job. Again, the likeness, they've smashed it, I think. Especially Naruto, Kakashi, now Sakura. I think it's great. The faces are amazing. You get top quality from SH Figure Arts, don't you? Well, I always find I do. I've not had an issue with them. I'm sure other people have. Anyway, that's it for the review today. If you stopped by, if you stayed till the end, thank you for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. I've got uh, Sasuke coming up and I've got a couple of other things to review. 
uh, other things on the channel obviously if you have had a look we do other things we've got some painting videos stuff coming up more unboxing all kinds of stuff we haven't quite figured out where we're going with it yet so if you're here thank you for watching um, please if you can like the video it helps and uh, if not either way you're still here much appreciated hopefully see you again bye